Well, right off the hop, we should see what all the fuss was about. We're looking northeast along what Canadian Pacific called the Assiniboia sub. Weybird is just up the line there, maybe 30 miles. Come August of 1910, CP had the line up and running between Weyburn and Key Dive, just behind us about four miles. Now the line that crosses it was built by Canadian Northern in 1911 between Radville and Moose Jobs, what CN called its Avonlea sub. And this crossing was kind of a big deal because arrangements had to be made and fees had to be paid, likely by the CNOR. Now it is the Wednesday morning of April 29th, 2020, and we are at Forward Saskatchewan, or rather the ghost thereof, the last building having been moved away or demolished in 1966. Radville is down that away to the southeast, 14.4 miles from the third class station that Canadian Northern built right down there in the near foreground somewhere in 1913. CN sold it off in 1963 and it's gone. This is the Trossachs plain in through here, undifferentiated glacial till. Some good land, but a lot of it's pretty rough. Lots of sand and ground. Looking due south down Range Road 190, I think. You can see the rise of the Missouri Coteau off to the southwest. Also southwest down the CP rail bed there, as I mentioned, is Key Dive, maybe three, four miles away. I believe it's that little copse of trees down there you can just see on the horizon. The meadow marks are sure happy this morning. That's Highway 13. The Red Coat Trail stretches all the way across southern Saskatchewan and into Alberta. Named so because it's the closest highway to the route that the Mounties took on their march west in 1872. Did I mention that it's a brisk wind this morning and it sure makes it hard to fly this drone, I'll tell you. Slowly we're getting orientated to look northwest up the CN route towards Moose Jaw, about 83 miles away. This is the range road looking due north. And coming around to the northeast. And to look over forward, which is now no more than a parking lot and a historical monument. Speaking of which, here it is right here. It is Sunday, May 29th, 2016, about coffee time, and the monument tells all about how in 1913 the people of Ford, northeast up the line, decided that their aspirations would be better satisfied by moving down to the crossing here. So they did, abandoning the Canadian Pacific town site in favor of, I presume, the Canadian northern town site. CP declined to move their station, renamed it Oxford, and got on with the business of running their railroad, Forward Schmorward. Now the monument mentions that there was a coal and feed store, a hardware department store, print shop, drug store, implement dealer, real estate office, blacksmith, hotel, lumberyard, livery barn, bakery, telephone office, church, Orange Hall, Fire Hall, a jail. There was a taxi and a dray service between Forward and Oxford. But no elevators at Forward, only at Oxford. There's a chunk of construction material of some sort. And here we are looking northeast along the right of way towards Oxford and the monument. Right there. I think the Canadian Northern Station would have stood right here to the south of the crossing. However, you can see no trace or elements. There must have been some sort of a sentry box to keep an eye on the crossing, lest two trains happen along at the same time. And it could have stood right here. That looks like a foundation. Don't know when it would have been taken away. 
sometime after 1977, I guess, when CN pulled up the Avonlea sub between Perry, I think, and Radville. Canadian Pacific abandoned this part of the Assiniboia sub in 1993 and pulled up the, the steel well, a few years later. The school here was the Dairyville School, number 2037, opened in 1908. 1914, the name Ford was surrendered by another school and this became the Forward School until it was closed in 1949. And kids just going down to the nice brick school in Kedai, probably. So there is a bit of a mystery surrounding the post office in Forward. The office was opened on January 15, 1910 by W.A. Nickel. Oh, looks like some upland game hunting going on here. What's that doggy up to? Oh, never mind. The post office is opened on Section 17, Township 8, Range 18, west of the second, which is where Axford is located. And in fact, in exactly the same location, W.J. McGill opened up the Axford post office on July the 15th. 1915. It was closed five years later on November the 16th, 1920 by J.A. Bowie. Now the monument mentions that there was a post office in Forward, but the post office records indicate that it was never moved from the original location at Oxford. Nevertheless, on May 19, 1951, Mrs. Adeline Fern-Renz closed the post office at Forward, Saskatchewan.